That was that one, the DoorDash nonsense. I got another one too. And this one was wild to me. Okay. This one was crazy. We need to take a look. He said that the sons of Kojima were better than the detractors here now. The sons of Kojima who doxed people who harass their own, by the way, they dox the cancer girl, their own people. They dox the funeral or something like that. They used to dox people all the time. They viciously trolled him and others. These people were DGENs times 17,000. And he tried to say that those people were better than people now. Rashid, uh, I almost wanted to watch the thing. The, I couldn't remember if we watched the downfall of Sanjay Kojima, in case y'all don't really know. I couldn't remember if we watched it. I couldn't find it in the videos from before, but I almost wanted to watch it to really get my point across on why this dude is not, or how this is such a stupid statement. $5 tip from Jimmy James Jr. What? Do you think the trolling has gotten better since the fall of the SOK? The SOK. The SOK haven't existed in like five or six years. Thank God. What are you talking about? Who on the people... earth is still talking about the sons of Kojima? You want to talk about something that's completely irrelevant? <laughs> that's a fact. They are irrelevant. No, here, sadly, here's what's happened. Here okay? we go. The sons yeah, Renak, that's what I was going to turn on. I was going to watch that, but I couldn't remember if we watched it before or not. Kojima could have easily been considered a fringe group of weirdos who hyper obsessed about me in in crazy ways and ultimately just kind of got to the point where they all attack each other into oblivion and they don't exist anymore yeah they were really hyper like people say that the detractors now are bad done y'all don't know nothing about it you must not have never heard about the sons of kojima bro the, these people were crazy son now, we have little infightings in the detractor, you know, at Soma Jewelry's Cruise or whatever. Not like these people. These people were, like, changing docs to dox these people. Like, psychotic. And if you left the group, you might as well just blow your... You might as well just kill it all off, man. This Fred Fox dude was insane, son. Like, to Phil, like... And if you try to monetize your channel, yeah, you're out of here. You're getting killed. They're murdering you off rip. Like, it was a crazy era. They, they're psychotic, bro. Sadly. I want to say because if the tractors of today were like the SOK, then he could see I'm not that bad on like the troll. SOK was way worse than Phil. Close to, not way. Let me say on par with Phil. Today, most of the people who daily report on me are scumbags on YouTube who literally fabricate bullshit every day for clickbait and to make money and their communities are so stupid and gullible they just roll with it and keep supporting those content creators SOK to some extent uh -huh. reported on real things and tried to pick apart shortcomings in my content and in my character okay so right now I'm spreading lies and manipulation cool how how I'm watching what you're saying and responding to it. How am I fabricating anything? I, I don't think you know what that word means. Because if duty is just clipping this part and putting it up, how is duty uh, fabricating this? If he's clipping a segment of you talking about the SOK, how is this fabricated? It would be fabricated if you never even mentioned the SOK and he titled it, oh, he, he's dissing the SOK. That would be a lie. What are you talking about? The Sons of Kojima, if they had a clip like this, would probably find out where such and such mom lived and probably slit their throats, bro. That's how crazy. All right, they're not that crazy, but they are that crazy. A lot of the people today literally just make shit up on a daily basis so that they can get clickbait. Uh -huh. I'd what say am I making worse. up? Maybe you don't agree. I think it's far. So let's just say it's true. Making up a lie is way worse than doxing a girl that died of cancer because you didn't believe that they died of cancer and they left the group. 
So you're gonna tell me that's worse. That's worse than this. Than duty clipping you talk about something. <sighs> worse for someone to lie or over exaggerate, extrapolate to get attention. Yeah, or it seems like Freddie's his boy. Idiots than to try to factually criticize and report on someone. As bad as the SOK was, they absolutely, right, weren't as bad as what you see today with the horse shit that goes on with these people on YouTube. And the <laughs> Yo, I, I don't even understand how you can sometimes, like, how can you believe the nonsense you're saying, bro? How in any way, shape, or form can you look back at the past and see and say this with a straight face and be this real? Like, you hope that no one remembers the SOK. That's why you're saying this so freely and you're lying so freely. There's no way, son. You don't know. Then you must not have known. Then, And I can't see how you wouldn't because they ruined your life for how many years? But... You don't know. How about this? Okay, since they're not that bad, then how about this? Detractors out there, listen to Sly. I want everyone to act like that's okay from now on. Do everything they used to do to fail. Because he said that, that what we're doing now is worse. Let's just tame it back and we'll start being like that's okay then. We'll just do that. The fact that YouTube al allows it is pretty ridiculous. It's blatant, blatant fabrication, blatant conspiracy theory, slander. It's just, it's, 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 Slander. I say you beg. That's not slander. I'm not lying. I could show proof of you begging. I say you play gotcha games a little too much for me. That's not slander. You showed and said you played it and you spent money and said you spent on a thousand dollars, which is a lot of money to be spending on a stupid game. I say you lie a lot. I can give you an instance after instance where you've lied. And then I'll show the court where you've admitted that you do lie. Where's the slander in any of this? Where's the defamation in any of this? Sounds like I'm telling the truth. I don't know about y'all. Slander mongering, really. When you think about it, it's an endless circle of people just shitting on you with nothing factual. Just making shit up, right? Here, I'll take a clip off of someone's stream and I'll title it something that has nothing to do with the clip. And then <laughs> this is slander what you're doing right now. This is what you're doing to duty right now. You're slandering them. You're telling, uh, you're knowingly, well, defamation. You're knowingly telling a mistruth. That's literally defamation what you're doing right now. All right, Duty, chill. And then people will watch it and believe that's what it is because they're morons. Okay, so I'm watching Duty slander, or DSP slanders Duty for his lies and deceits, praises the sons of Kojima. He's, in this clip, Phil is saying the sons of Kojima are better than the, the people right now, like Duty. Where is it? Yeah, if I can't help it. Everyone he looks bad in. I, I can't help it. So, yeah. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what. I, 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 don't, I don't think that any of them are good or better than anything else. They're all shit. But and, and to some extent, you know, in the old days of criticism, <laughs> for example, in the old days when the biggest thing that was negative about me was this is how you don't play, at least you could watch it, this is how you don't play, and see my moments of sucking at a game or saying dumb things and say... This is how Phil can get better by improving upon this. That's not what they were doing. <laughs> they weren't doing that. They were completely killing you in these videos. They were not saying, you know what? If Phil just did this, he would be so much greater. He's just amazing. He could really be the greatest person out there, but he just shoot. That wasn't happening. Have you ever watched one of them? They were killing you, son. Okay. The shit that's out there about me daily today, there's no effort to try to say Phil can be better, Phil can improve, because it's all made. Because you're stuck in your ways. There's no, there's none of that. Okay, there, there's no more of giving you uh, uh, constructive criticism, because you know, if that was true, you didn't take any of it anyway. You admitted that as well. So what was the point? Why am I gonna still keep doing this? If you weren't taking the criticism then, why now?
You want me to do that? Why you want me to sit here and and, and say, hey, maybe you should stop doing like all right stop begging there's some constructive criticism are you ever gonna stop it you haven't yet so why am i gonna waste every day telling you you know what you should really stop doing that you know what maybe let's just tank let's lay off the block button a little bit you block everyone that's a difference of opinion like hey when someone has a difference of opinion don't just accuse them of being a sock account that's just here to troll are you ever going to stop? No. So me saying that every day is kind of pointless, ain't it? Stupid. Made up. That's the problem. When everything out there is made up, then there is no improvement that can be had because you made it all up. Everything is made up. You know? And again, they don't care because as long as they get over, as long as they're getting a click of you, a dollar from a moron. He got you. Moron who just supports moronic content on the internet that's slanderous. They don't care about who gets hurt or what happens. And quite frankly, being that I'm one of the most resilient content creators on YouTube. That's a fact. 15 years, still going strong, despite the fact the last decade people have literally just shat on me. That's a fact. I'm going to be honest. He is one of the most resilient people on YouTube. Because if I was him, I would have blown my brains out in Minecraft a long time ago. There's no way I could live a life like him. Nah, no way. If I had to, if I had to bag and do all the stuff that he's doing, and and everyone doing what they're doing and showing, and there's so many docs of showing that, uh, uh, that how much of a scumbag, a scumbag I am, and everything that I was doing behind closed doors actually came out. Nah, I would have blew my brains out. There's no reason. I clearly can't live a productive life and and not be a scumbag. So I I would just end it. There, there's no reason for me to be outside. No, I'm good. I've lived a long life. I can't change. If they feel like, oh, it doesn't matter. Phil's immune to all of this. We can just do whatever we want. Phil ain't going anywhere. So they feel no remorse. I don't feel remorse. <laughs> You're right. I don't have no remorse for people like you. You don't have remorse for the people you're bankrupting. I don't have no remorse for you, son. Some things I say, oh, wow, that was a little crazy. Maybe we shouldn't have went that far. But I say that to myself. I don't really say that out loud because why would I? I don't care no more. <laughs> I don't have no remorse for you, brother. You scum, son. You don't get no love around here. It's a pretty messed up situation in that regard. But Change. that's why I don't waste time on them. I'm not going to sit here and address a single name or a single moment. There's no point because they're all losers. Mm -hmm. And then when we see each other and face to face, keep that same energy. I'm gonna play this clip too. Like, remember when you said this right here? You said I was a loser. Say it to me now. Without me, they don't exist. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I wasn't talking about you, uh, Sly. Uh. Yeah, right. Say it to me now. Without you, I don't exist. I was talking, I mean, I'll just talk about something else, really. I mean, like, and, and let's be honest, we will just talk about stuff else. We all are here to laugh at you, but if you were not here, we would just go do something else, right? Like, there's content all over the place. I've watched, we've reacted to tipster nonsense. People still, oh, I'm seeing a lot of names that would show up here right now that would show up to Tipster, that would show up to Chan, that would show up to whatever. Like, there is endless of things that we can check out. We could totally go to crime. People will show up to that as well. Like, what are we talking about here, son? Like, you are not the end-all, be-all of what people can react to. You are just one of the ones that we like laughing at. That's it. So, Okay the SOK because I've never really paid attention to the videos before Psychotic. and I knew they were a group you ready for people who got together to make fun of DSP but I guess there was this certain vibe they had that threw me off and not made me want to watch their videos and as you know I myself have a documentary series on DSP and I have heard some mentions of the SOK in one of my comment sections and it piqued my interest and so I wanted to do more research about how the downfall of SOK came about and all of the information I gathered. Shout out X Mortis, God tier. It's kind of overwhelming. There was a lot to dig through. And like I said. Oh, my bad. Look at my bad, dog. I'm doing good, but I can't complain. How about you, dog? My bad. I didn't see you, son. I appreciate it. Oh, Drake's in the chat. Shout out Drake. Where's that album, cuz? That was supposed to come out last night.
Where's the album, Drake? Huh? For all the dogs or whatever. I'm trying to hear it. I'm pretty new on how all of this shit went down. So bear with me if I get some details wrong. But I'll do my best. So with that being said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, you're in for a treat, Max. So you can get notified when more videos come out. Now it's time to take a look into the downfall of the SOK. Okay. Bill Clinton in his bitch. What up, player? Yeah, bro. I, I, I asked. I was waiting for it. I thought when I saw everyone was talking about it was coming out, I'm like, oh, where? That's what? Because I saw he dropped the album cover, and I figured once he dropped the album cover, then it would come out on Friday. Then I saw people tweeting about it. it was, yeah, I was upset. Hopefully, it'll come out next week. More times. Kojima, 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 Kojima. Coming soon. Come on, Drake. Come on, Aubrey. Gear Kojima. Sons of Kojima, 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 Kojima. During DSP's Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough, he did a bunch of weird Kojima bashing at the start. For absolute what? He deleted his channel? Will deleted it? Oh, nah. That's hilarious. Well, gang. Undefeated over here. We got him running, scared. They disappearing now. It was over, man. Once he came across gang, it was over, son. Gang. Should have left us alone. Bang, played with something bang. safe. Trav gonna know. Absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> oh my fault. Yeah, he gone, baby. Will's dun 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 dun. dun. Should have played with something safe, B. And this isn't nothing different. DSP is known to bash on Kojima by live playing through his games. Hey, look, already a cutscene. All I do is take two steps. Oh, Hideo Kojima. His name will show up in the credits 400 times. <laughs> Pouring out a little ray. Listen, he's been around for how long? He came across me. He disappeared for weeks. Then he came back a couple times. Now he's gone for good. Son, you, you, you jacked up, player. Don't worry. Punch the button. I can't. We're going to smoke that will pack. Mm -hmm. We're going to smoke that will pack. Blow it in the air. No button of mine punches the button. <laughs> Nothing punches it. MF. Fuck this stupid shit. Seriously, man. Kojima's a fucking asshole. Punch the switch. How do you punch the fucking switch? I'm so tired of this shit. Kojima's a fucking cocksucker. If I ever find him, I'm gonna kick him straight in his fucking balls. But during that playthrough, he only birthed the name of the most infamous detractor group in YouTube's history. So it is the SOK. <laughs> well, obviously. There were a group of people who didn't like DSP. Yeah, bro. Like, they're going to explain, like, this man used to sit in Discord calls all day long, bro. Then they're going to also, there's a part where, dude, it might, I think it's in this one. I don't know if it was a secret limited one or if it was this one. But the dude, like, someone just unfriended him and he lost his mind in the chat. Oh, I see you unfriended me. Oh, why is that? And, and like, they, these people are psychotic. He informed the podcast where they would just shit on him for hours. The volume's low? Oh, my bad, gang. Along with their regular podcast, they would do listeners of This Is How You Don't Plays and other fear-related content. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to this. We good? Let's Sound better now? Door of Sonic Adventure. We have a wonderful panel of idiotic motherfuckers. Jeez. First off, we have the original Fazzy. Fazzy. Hi, I do indeed exist. <laughs> We have the Detroit Fazzy, Torres. Why not oh, look at you had a bad day I just saw, my man. Sorry, but I'm glad. Hopefully, you have a little bit better day today, man. We have the Rad Red. Oh, yeah. This is happening. And we have the Freddy Boy. Um, play. Oh, no. Oh, no. He sounds pretty ill. What a great fight. He's oh, mentally no. ill. Oh. Let's see how much constructive criticism that the gang was given right here. How dare you? Now, we're the mentally ill ones, that's, apparently. That's correct. I can't hit him. He's glitched. He's, he's, cl down. he's, he's underwater. underwater. He's glitched. He's glitched. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look how he flies the goddamn plane, dude. What the fuck kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> Why is it going everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, my batteries must be running out. Cause look. Okay, then fucking. Off. I actually have batteries right in my bedroom. Uh oh. Oh my out. god, you couldn't uh -oh. just we bring them. The whole oh thing was god. operated by their leader, Fred Fox. Wait, Yo, don't touch. Fred Stop. Fox? <laughs> Fred Fox. You got me. Fred. That's funny. Fox. Fred Fox. Oh my god, Fred Fox. Oh my god. I didn't watch this. I didn't watch this guy. I know he's popular. I think he still is popular. I know who he is. Wasn't a big fan, though. God, it's Fred Fox. Oh, 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 Fred Fox. And now we get to the question, though. Who is Fred Fox? Well, Fred is a very terrible person. He's a self-proclaimed MMA expert, but he's only ever done three legit days of practice. When you're on the internet trying to look cool, it's what happens. He's someone who takes what he does on the internet way too seriously. In some regards, way too he was serious. even worse than fear when all the shit got leaked out on Twitter. Yeah. We got to see how much of a bitch he truly was behind the scenes. Because some of the shit he had planned out was just fucking insane. He was also a petty son of a bitch if you don't follow them. Look at this oh. conversation he had with okay, a former member of SOK after he left them and unfollowed them on Twitter. Hey, buddy. Thanks for following, smiley face. I was following 421 people and needed to cut someone. What a loser. Just off rip. What a loser, son. Oh, thank you for following me. Imagine no one in their right mind would ever do this, okay? No one, if you see that your follower count bounces up and down, up and down, up and down. I, I, I don't even know how you check and see and how you're, I don't even know how you, you find out who unfollowed you, let alone to contact you and then say this to him. Oh, I was at 421. Well, I just want to be at 420. Thanks for doing it. Loser. LOL, and you unfriended me? If you're going to make a big deal about numbers, what? I said thank you. I like to follow 420 people. Sure. Uh, what is your deal? You leave the group, you unfollow me randomly, and then you unfriend me because you went out of your way to message me over and unfollow on Twitter. I joked around with you about it and said thanks. Well, we don't really talk anyway, so what's it matter? Why are you being so hostile? I never did anything to you. In fact, I've been nothing but nice to you. Oh my God. And I'm not claiming you did. I don't know why you're making a big deal over this. I'm not. I literally made a joke about it. You unfriended me over it and have been kind of a dick so far. Okay, sorry. Wasn't trying to be a dick. So what's up? I don't know. All right, well, just wanted to make a joke with you and see how you were doing. To be honest, I kind of feel like you might have had some sort of issue with me or the group and weren't honest about it based on our interaction now. No, your joke just felt like you being a dick. I don't know. Autism. Random unfollows seem like being a dick. I took it in a Random unfollows being a dick. Okay, gotcha. Right, and made a joke about it. Didn't seem like it. Funny how the only time you even think to talk to me is when I lead the group and then I follow you. Boswell. I, I definitely get this vibes. Like he was some like he was a mafia boss. Dog, one really. word from you. That comes across as not really caring outside of that. And that's just an example of how much of a passive aggressive bitch he can be to people. If you were a part of their community and for whatever reason you decide to leave, it was Fred over. Would do everything in his power to find out anything he can about you and your personal information. Another thing about Fred is that he is a very shallow person. Without the oh, talk yeah? of shit on DSP, he literally has nothing to talk about. You can <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ivy. Appreciate it. You're dick. Even see that. Why would you ever do that, man? Come on, B. Just for yourself when he had Mr. Metacron as a guest for their podcast. He showed that he truly couldn't handle simple banner and completely falls apart when he's faced with it. Because these people are only cool online. They don't know how to interact with real people in the real world, dog. These people are odds, weirdos, son. They don't know how to act, for real. Tough question. Yeah. Have friends in them. That's why they're in Discord. No one that has real friends is online Skyping for almost 24 hours a day. You don't have a life if you're online all day like that, just talking to people. So let's, let's, let's fucking do that. Uh, Sounds let's like see. I dubs. Okay. I don't think Medicare's died de dead though. He's not dead, right? I think he has cancer and he left the internet, but I don't think he died. But, no, they're they're typing too fast here. All right, let me get this shit set up. So we're Ask gonna... Fred if he's a yeah. Fred. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, that was a misspell or mispronunciation. He meant kite, as in, whew. ask him if he is a kite with a T. Better you a yeah. kite. No, I actually I don't have any uh, uh, heritage in me. See, that's just what he is. Nobody can listen to him. Ah, uh, that that means um, a lid, like a lid. Totally fucking Jewish. <laughs> He's totally yeah. fucking Jewish. You I got me. This. You got me. Uh, okay, why is Fred obsessed with talking about another man's penis? Fred, why why are hey, you so yo. focused on another man's penis? <laughs> I'm so this guy. is the same thing Sammy said. This is not correct. I am not obsessed about talking about another man's penis. I don't even talk about my own penis that much on this show. So, no, this is not correct. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. This, 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 this is an unsubstantiated claim, Jim, I swear. Oh, I didn't know, Rockman. I didn't know he was in remission. Well, congratulations to the bowl for being in remission. Congratulations. This is not... How, how long did you and Sammy talk about penises? Uh, hey, well, I, <laughs> I told him that he gets a, an erection anytime Phil uploads a new video. Um, so sounds like you, that's you, brother. I think that took about 15 seconds. Um, and then obviously the, the, the original claim <laughs> right, um, ex- that I was talking about penis for like 10 minutes or something. So, so I don't you know, talk, maybe about you 45. Talk to, you talk to another dude about dicks for a straight, what, 12, 15 minutes? No, no, no. I'd say about 45 seconds. 45 seconds to talking about cocks. It's completely no homo. It's completely no homo. There you go, chat. Uh, why, Fred, why do you like food nari? Is uh, a question they want to ask. Okay, <laughs> now this is also. See, look, I don't know who that is or what that is. What what is this bullshit? You see what we got to deal with now? Not for me. So <laughs> the, the the real dark side, Phil. I'm guessing is Sammy because this sounds like everything he brought up. S O K specifically, Freddie. I want to find out the root of your issues. Why do you hate Phil? Why do you spend over 500 hours hating him? You need help. You even talked about his penis for over 10 minutes. This is a Jesus this, this is incorrect. <laughs> Ladies with dogs. Okay, okay, okay. there, there's your answer. This is incorrect. Ladies with dogs. Phil isn't changing from anything being said on them, and neither are his airheaded fans. <laughs> gonna stop pledging their money to him. What's there to even talk about at this point? Phil says stupid shit about something he knows jack shit about. Phil gets criticized and responds by blocking them and then writing another wall of text. Phil whines. About- Can't even read, doc. Can't even read, brother. T- 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 today, bro. But a video game not letting him win easily. At what point does it become obvious that this is just the same old boring crap tips from him? Yo, tips it would know it's hilarious. Well, that's up to you, right? If you 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 almost speak as though you're speaking for like. Have a good one, normal Jenks. Have a good night, player. I hit you up in the Discord because I wanted to make sure that I didn't block you at any point. So if you saw my message, I don't know if you responded to it. Uh, in the general zone, uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't kick you out on accident. My bad, dog. If I did, I'll get you back in there. I was trying to do the roles thing. Have a good night. <laughs> the people as though these are like a whole bunch of things that everyone believes. If you personally believe that the show is boring and that you don't like it anymore, and that's fine. What does that have to do with your Twitter? Like, if you're trying to first, you were trying to. I, I guess you were trying to make the the argument that like the Twitter. Uh, or that the, the the show is like damaging or something like that, but now you're just saying that the show is boring. Okay, cool. That's that's completely up to you. Frey was also a yeah. Of course, what was it? That was all a bunch of reading for no reason. You didn't say anything there. You just read what he. You struggled to read, and then you were like, "Oh, yeah, you, know, you, know, you think the show is boring? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah." Yeah, people think say that all the time, bro. It is a is probably a dent that of Phil's. That's why they're saying it. Or it's probably well, you didn't have Reddit back then, so I don't know where those people went. Oh God, I saw sidebar. I saw the sickest. Remember when I was telling you? Oh, on TBS, I was talking about the whole Reddit weirdos or whatever. I saw one of them like saying, like asking for a good picture of a cat to j- sp- splatter on and send to Phil. Oh my lord. Bang. Bang, bang. They wanted to shoot a batch off. Good lord, I, I am actually just tuning in. I couldn't sleep anymore. Saw a message that they. Oh, okay, my bad. No, I didn't see you, Jenkins. And then, so when it came to criticism, 
No man on earth is above the next person. Anyone could be criticized. It's how you choose to handle the criticism you receive. Because if you do it poorly, well then you just look like a dumbass. <laughs> Yo, Steve, I'm, I swear to God. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna look it up. No, it might have been OIC, but I don't know. Fred wasn't able to handle criticism in a mature way. In fact, it was the total opposite. It was for a game to shit talk anybody else. In fact, you'll get to see more of that during this video. But the moment it was dished back towards him, he turned into a fucking child. Take this situation when he discovered that someone made an encyclopedia dramatica page about him and his group. Oh, yeah, this is a good that one right here. A whole witch hunt to find a nigga who did it. Oh, hey. Mustafa, um, so if you does anyone have a, some fappable pictures of cat? I want to come on the picture and then send it to Phil. And I, I was just you, the you slash. That's why I figured it was Reddit. Uh So when I say that these Reddit people take this A, way too serious, and B, are insane, don't say, oh, you're just saying that because they said something bad about you. No, look at this. 22 comments for this. Could, you know, in the, anti, uh, the no drama, anti-SOK, just uh, um, busy making the page. Could you tell Seemingly, it? I don't answer the question. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit Don't like that. give them the materials, man. No. <laughs> Everyone, if they do decide to add to it, just uh, use an inconspicuous name that can't be traced back to any of us. You know, because fucking did it doxing us and shit. You know, nobody wants that. Okay, creative page with intro. What what do you get when you cross a group of that nobody likes in ISIS and an A log that takes everything serious with locals? You have the sons of Kojima. Uh, intro, what do you get when you cross? Yeah, we just read this. Uh, you have Sanjay Kima in the fame hunting version of the Dark Side Phil or exposed group that doesn't care about criticizing for Dark Side Phil or educating his fans, but instead want to literally hurt Dark Side Phil and destroy his channel at worst. They help to profit off him and his low popularity that they have invited guests on their show. Uh-oh. This person who wrote this would lose their mind over here. Sons of Kojima consists of a uh, group full of butthurt children, pause, that can't fight their own battles, so they circle jerk each other in their video. Oh, this is a dent. Uh, and their videos and on Twitter against a single person in order to provo uh, prove that their opinions are always right. Sons of Kojima is a group who consists of greed, self-glorification for popularity's sake. Oh, this is definitely a dent. And lastly, pantomiming themselves, but Sons of Kojima takes it to the next level by promoting doxing, DDoSing. I, I guess. I don't feel about this. Everyone's favorite children, God, afternoon. Well, Fred, me, and Burn are in the process of editing. Took a lot of shit out. Burn, uh, well, trying to anyways. God. Here's how it is thus far. All right, Phil. And then there's still, still shit in here, but we can't keep it blank. We can't blank it all out. We're getting banned according to the admin. Is edible to anyone, though? If the group wants to add their input and make it cleaner, feel free to do so. Anything to end the drama quicker at this point. I'm just concerned for burn, like I said. Yeah, I'm going to be the one that creates it. No, but, but do you mean... I think I have a new IP address. What the fuck? <laughs> And he was no Ranak. Don't put me in that freakery. I do not have a picture of cat. No, I do not. Able to track him down. So him and one of his bitch boys got this dude in a call and basically gave him a lecture and whined about being made fun of on a website that's made them make fun of everybody. I um oh. <laughs> if you get cyber bullied, you are a and deserve it. You stupid ass stayed on computer computer and cried all night ha 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 Sanjay Kojima are a group of butthole children that consist of greed oh we just what is this acting elitist fedora tipping autist <laughs> claiming to be above DSP has white knights and pretty much everyone else by the end of the day they are a prime example of every other annoying group that thinks they're hot shit even worse they prove the locale they're criticizing right failing as trolls they circle jerk each other in their videos and on twitter against a single person at times in order to achieve their ultimate goal of enlarging their e-penis oh pause uh you can help the herd by not giving them any water shit like that shit like that shit like that shit like that i can't like that. No, my 
intentions weren't the first time they weren't sincere, but like no when, three times uh, three like, times they weren't sincere. Um, wait, when was the third? Time? I am a token. Oh bully! Uh, today. Now you're racist and homophobic. Uh, this fucking guy. I don't know, what but like problem, in the Boone? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? You, in the you don't answer discussion. a great question. He's asking you why you're doing this. You oh, for the lulls. Uh, you know, I don't recall. Like, is this as big of a deal? I don't know. This is this bad of a big of a deal. If you are going to criticize someone and these people start criticizing you, you can't get mad at stuff like this. Because this is the stuff you do to Phil. And it's one person doing this? Who cares? What's the big deal? I don't understand. Dude, be a man, grow a fucking pair of balls, and just say why you did it. Because for the lols, like I said, constantly. dude, what are you fucking like there, there, You are twelve. No other reason. You are a fucking twelve-year-old. I did it for I, the lols. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, he, whoever did this was a loser, right? This is a lot of time to, to just because of a, per, a group of people you don't like. But to get upset about it doesn't seem like this is that big of a deal, dude. Dude, there's people older than that that do it for the lols. It's uh, not like again, they're immature as it's not like fucking it, holy hell that act like they're twelve. Are you kidding me? It's not like it's immature wholesaling. Yes, it is. Cordis, that's a fact. It's like I mean, that's dramatic, it. Uh, calling people and fat. Uh, uh, he said, um, diggers like grave diggers and sticks. Yeah, it's immature. And, but, and on top of that, you somebody who says I'm going to stop part. talking about them and then does it. It's immature. It, I removed Moogle's part because that was immature. I agree oh, with you. One but... person. Oh, okay. you removed one person. All's forgiven. We we couldn't we couldn't blank out the whole fucking page, and I didn't know how to edit it. Yeah, you could have. You could have said, you know what? I'm not getting involved in this. Why? <laughs> they said neighbors. Thank you, Pass. Right. How are you guys doing it? Um. Well, like, why? May a lot of bad words, man. I guess you have to be the one to post it. Game remote on. The goddamn grave diggers out here, man. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta I don't know either. interrupt for a second, but how is Moogle's part immature, but Renegade's part wasn't? Well, I didn't. I didn't even. Yeah, you know, the rough draft. I didn't even know new members are. Well, I knew today, yeah, but well, I, don't, well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just, just, I don't just know who clarify, did just, I, yeah. Just because I post something that, you know, isn't even true in the fucking first place, it doesn't mean, it like, doesn't I... It doesn't matter if it's true or not. I don't give a shit. It's the fact that you did it. It's your action, not your reasoning. Why are you asking him what his reasoning, if it doesn't matter what his reasoning? See, this is the problem, and I can tell you off rip, because I see a lot of these clones. These people think that they're Mr. Medicare. Mr. Medicare can talk well, and he can he can he can form his words and what he wants to say. He's very articulate, okay, and he's funny. People think he's funny. That's and you all I don't have that. Because what you said right there, that's kind of would sound like Mr. Medical would say it, but it would make sense. You just were asking him, what's the reason? He gave you a reason you didn't like, and now you're telling him, oh, the reason doesn't matter. It's the intent. Then don't ask him what the reason is if you don't understand. You are not Mr. Medic. Let him do his thing. Be his own person. These people you would smoke in a debate, there, there's, there's no, they don't even know what they're saying. You get what I'm trying to say. It's called logic. Yeah, 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 I get you. So how about this? I'll go fuck your mother for the laws and everything will be cool, right? No hard feelings? I guess there, if you want to like twist, the, twist the laws. If you just want to twist my logic into black and white there, sure. No, I mean, that's what you're saying. You're saying you could do something if it's just for the laws. Nobody's supposed to get mad or offended. That, 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 that's not what I'm law. saying. I'm saying you shouldn't take a... Uh, fucking eat encyclopedia page dramatica see i'm telling you red they're way worse they are just like this is what phil by the way keep it in mind this is who phil said is way better than the people now these people uh jay sonic thank you for the five hey slide three plus 15 equals age of my next girl seriously <laughs> okay well Shout out to you. Congratulations on 3K, your boy, Bogey. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank oh, you. Okay, I, I have to ask, because now I see Ed Page has been timed out, and they were talking about something, and it's uncomfortable, so it's great fucking conversation. What is the harassment call they're talking about? 
I don't know what the harassment call is. I think let me look. Why do at the why do I feel like I'm missing out on half the shit you guys do? Was there did you guys did somebody call you up? What happened? No, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Like harassment call? I I don't know. Like I said, it's your it's you're gonna have to fill me out on the backstory here. No let idea me look what that at, is. Let me look at the mod history because if he posted a link, he probably got timed out by Meowbot for that. Um, let me see. Yeah, Ed Page didn't do nothing, okay? He's a didn't good do player. nothing. Didn't do nothing. Just uh, like Hitler. What? Uh, somebody saying harassment call with DSP alert? Hitler Does didn't do anything wrong. I, I, I honest to God don't know. I don't know about any harassment calls. Um, no, I mean, we've argued. I mean, like, our arguments. Wait, Boogie died? Wait, what? No, he didn't. No way. My phone will be blowing up if Boogie died. Get out of here, son. What? Um, oh, okay. okay, okay. Here's online. what here's what Ed is saying, or Ed is uh, page is saying. Whoever made the ED page? Oh, okay. All right. I was about to say, no way. Is Bo if Boogie died and Max didn't tell me that? No, absolutely not. Uh, harassed Fred. That's what he claimed in the call. So were, were, were you in were you in a call and claimed that you got harassed by the guy that made the ED page or uh, Ed Page? Are you saying the guy who made the ED page is claiming he called Fred and harassed him? Oh, Encyclopedia Dramatica. Okay, I guess that's what I'm lost on. I'm like, what is ED? I, I was like, I remember hearing those letters before. Chris Chan. I'm just trying to catch up with what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm lost too. Um, oh, oh, here we go. Fred and Carl snapped on Boondocks for making an Ed Page. Do you guys know who Boondocks is? Boondocks is someone that posted uh, the ED page, and we were like, why did you do that? Because somebody wrote it to him, or somebody wrote it, gave it to him and his group of friends because they were too scared to post it themselves. Uh, so he posted it, and we were like, why did you do that? And he just said a bunch of stupid stuff. Like, we didn't harass him. We just asked him why he did it. Um, and yelled at him and said that you want to know why he did it, and then to say that his opinion doesn't matter, or his reasoning doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what you did. So let's just stop. But okay, of course, Mr. Medicare, you're big daddy right there. You want to prove, you want to show that you're cool like daddy. Yeah, we just thought it was dumb. Like when Mr. Medicare has to tell you, listen, you know, just go, just do something else. That's the nice way of saying you're in too deep and you're going too overboard with it. Just chill out. Okay, well, there you go, man. You got your answer. See, that was nice. That was, that was straightforward and simple. Not, not an issue. I didn't um, know this was a harassment call. I, I, I don't know. I want to hear like that. Are they saying we harassed the, him? Okay, let's see. Uh, they're saying this is their follow-up. Sons of Kojima leaked harassment. Type it in on YouTube to see Fred claim harassment. They're calling um, you out, man. Damn. Fred got somebody, harassed. Somebody with the name ED Page is, uh, damn, he's, he's got our goat, I guess. You got a sysop in the, uh, in the chat. Screamed for four minutes. Did you freak out on somebody that called you? No, no, seriously. Uh, we just said this is our take on it. Oh, here we go. And this one's a good one, too. Oh, yeah, these, this is great. And I found out just recently, uh, before I posted this comment, that he had used something of mine, clearly. Um, Mind you, this is Fred, who is constantly reacting to Phil stuff and won't and, and, and is ODing on Phil. He is now upset that someone used something of his. Just want to put this into context here. Um, because the screen cap was mine. It was my screen cap. I took it. I paste. I, I J travel. I don't know, man. I hope. Put it on my Twitter and it was yanked, used. Uh, the uncredited part is just really just the kick in the pants. I, that's not the point that it was uncredited or stolen. What I wanted to say to him politely is please don't use, don't use my content in your monetized stuff. That's what I don't want. I don't want to be part of this. You, there's all sorts of comments for you to grab. There's all sorts of tweets for you to grab. There's a whole world out there. Please don't use my stuff. Not fucking don't use my fucking stuff. I'm going to take it down. Nothing else like that. Please don't use my stuff for monetized stuff. I've posted the evidence. You can watch the video. You can look at the screen caps. You can look at anything that you would like to show that we literally had nothing to do with this, other than the fact that we spoke out about the fact that he makes money off of Phil. And there it is. And Tevin, almighty Tev, 
Shout out to the OG Bowl. Was like they got at Tev because he was uh, monetizing his stuff. Because these these in these their their mind, this was worse than anything. Making any type of money off of Phil is like punching a baby in the mouth. Uh, I I don't get it. And I feel as though we have every right to say that we never. You have every right to say your opinion on uh, monetizing, sure. But taking someone down for it is like ridiculously uh, hypocritical because you are only doing that. You Your group is based on taking someone else's stuff. So let's just chill on that. Jay Sonic, <laughs> thank you for the tent. Congratulations on your job at DoorDash. That's about 3K a year. My order is a blood test for Jasper, a black man's kielbasa for cat, and a receipt for me in case I want to return the items. Phil. I got you, man. I'm going to get Tyreezy over there to give him the good kielbasa for the, for, the, for the girl. I got you. Never told anybody to boycott him. I've seen people do hashtag unsub Ardenos, all this shit. We've never said anything to anybody. <laughs> kind of based of course <laughs> say that they should do anything the only thing that we did is voice the fact that we don't like it and then we tried to offer up an alternative an ad free glory free credit free anonymous group of people that are going to put together a channel that archives fill stuff without ads oh my god and that, that was losers. taken down who has a stake to take that down Ardenas. These people are psychotic. Does? They're just taking each other's Who's going to take us down? The fans are going to take us down? Ardenas has been doing this for months. Um, I would like to point out, too, when I looked at the video myself. Um, I think this is the guy they made him eat a bunch of potatoes or whatever, and he started throwing up. I just remember the voice. <clears throat> Every comment that I've seen is pretty Damn. much, you know, fr fuck Fred Fox, shit like that. I have not seen a single negative comment comments even revolving around the fact that Arnos is a piece of shit because well they're, they're gone i don't know any other thoughts on this mr ghost dragon i'm sure you're fucking brimming with insight here <laughs> uh, i mean we covered a lot of the topics in that discussion but it, it just it just baffles me that like people immediately jump to the conclusions that they're jumping to and are even with the evidence in front of them there's still like this well you it just could be a sock account. Like, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> bang, bang, bang. What are you trying bang, to say here, bang. player? What are you talking about? The fact that people think somebody's going to put that much work. I don't know. Who's null? Oh, that's the, uh, the farm bowl. Work into like an aha. Got I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me null didn't come from the sons of Kojima. Please tell me. Motivated. Plus, we were playing Destiny. We didn't have the time to fuck with him like that. But uh, no, the the policing of the comments doesn't surprise me. It disappoints me. But I mean, from the very get go, I've been against the whole monetization of reuploads, even if they are edited or anything like that. Because oh, Moogle, what he was doing, and my big issue with what he was doing, or she, or whatever, is. That validates Phil when he says that we're just trying to... And none of these people I've ever seen around anymore. That's got to tell you. The people that were outside the SOK, like normal people, Tevin and, and whoever else, all around, still doing their thing. None of these people are around. Goes to show you that nobody rocked with these people. Around the time they probably did, because it was one of a kind, it was just new. But now, come on, none of them, none, like none of them are doing their own thing or whatever. Then they like they, they literally would like turn the gun around from Phil and started firing at themselves. And whoever was left, just <laughs> them, they just ended it in Minecraft. And they make money off of him and we're re-uploading his stuff to gain some profit off of his work. And... When he says that, we don't have a leg to stand on because there's people like Gardenos out there that was doing that. So with the SOK, there came the golden rule that all had to follow. If you made content about DSP, in no way could you monetize it. At all. You couldn't accept donations. You couldn't make a Patreon. In no way could you make money off of DSP. Unless Fred granted you special privileges. You want to go deeper? We can go deeper. Tav.
Shout out to the bull, the bot, the guy body. Tevion, Tevion, Tevion. Shout out to the bull, the bot. We can go deeper because I'm a. Pause, Tev. Come on, Tev. Come on, Tev. Dirty beggar for even accepting something that someone. I would love to talk to Tevin. I think the brothers need to link up one day, but I don't think Tevin does interviews or nothing like that. He don't really come around much. I would. Frank Ocean, Tev. It's hilarious. Yo, I'm dead. I would love to talk to Tevin. Wants to send me a dirty fucking e beggar. I can't even type today. I'm a dirty fucking e beggar. So if so you want me to bleach my hair, X, want me to bleach? I'll bleach the braid. Oh, I I can't wait to get my read done tomorrow. I'm getting my Tev shade. Somebody else do it. They a dirty fucking e beggar too, right? Exactly. Okay, so let's go to Sons of Kojima again. Who else we got here? Man. He's so soft. He's soft spoken, Bull. I love it. We have Evil AJ. Evil AJ is like the grandfather of shit known DSP. Wow. My PayPal. Hmm. Oh, nah. You know how it is over here, X. We talk a little bit. There ain't nothing to interview. I'm going to ask him a few questions and we watch Phil together. It ain't going to be nothing. Hey, so how'd you. Da, da, da. Nah, we be like, oh, when did you learn? You know, we got to ask the people, new people, when did you learn about Phil? What got you into it? Let's go react. That's it. Don't even have a hitbox. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing it. I'm kidding, X. I ain't bleaching my brain. So Twitch down. Just me? my PayPal. That's fucking really odd, isn't it? Wait, Evil AJ? Evil AJ was in the SOK? Wow. Okay. Or they are cool with Evil AJ. It's something I've been noticed, by the way. Didn't ever say anything about it because I'm that type of person. We scroll down. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker S rank playthrough. Uh, my Twitch stream, my Twitter. Okay. So at least I don't have a donation link in there. So that's something. We can't criticize him for that. My Twitch stream, my Twitter. Oh, look, my PayPal. What the fuck is this? Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Fox Island Run. My PayPal. Wow. What a dirty fucking e beggar Evil AJ is, right? Oh, my God. So. He might be the only one that's... Well, he doesn't really make content anymore, does he? So maybe he's the only one that was really around then. Oh, they're saying sort of. Oh, uh, okay. This dude literally... Nah, he's out. Jason, he's out. He has 16,000 subs. You think he has 16,000 subs because of fucking Metal Gear Solid playthroughs? I'm sure they helped. But I can guarantee you, most of his subs, at least a good bit of them, are because he basically originated this Zygon like Play. He did originate it. This Zygon like Play MGS3, 1.7 million views. Jesus now, you don't have Christ. a donation link in this because you're not stupid. Yeah, you don't have a donation link in that. He's not that stupid. But if you say, wow, this Evil AJ guy made some great content, let's go to his page. Oh, a PayPal. Oh, wow, he did a playthrough of MGS3. That's pretty cool. He must be good at the game. Oh, show more. Oh. Just popping in after seeing you destroy Trav from Side Scrolls. Good shit, Brody. If he comes at you again, ask what he does, uh, what he was doing hoarding old community members' info when he modded for game attack. What? What? Nah, be okay, you know what? Hold on. You know what I'm about to do? You know what we're about to do? I got to start remembering this. I need you to click this link i'm about to send you join that and send me what you're talking about love the, i love the chat shout out to you for coming through pissed off bartender thank you my paypal i'm a dirty e-beggar and i don't even have a direct paypal link in my description box isn't that fucking something wow i wonder why evil aj was never called out for that isn't that really weird it's not like evil aj is in with the cool kids of the sok and i'm not no no way no way they must have just missed it it's oh, and the cool. Okay, so he was just around. He was and like he was cool peoples. He wasn't in it. Weird. It's not like Evil AJ is in with the cool kids of the SOK, and I'm not in with the cool kids of the SOK. Okay, so maybe he wasn't a part of it. Maybe he was just around, around. No, no way, no way. They must have just missed it. It's cool. They're gonna call him out. Dead vibes for show. 
Uh, Jason Eck, thank you for the five, bro. Hello, Sly. Craig here. Give me a sec to pull out of Travis. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Shit like that. 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 Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> no, after this. They must have just missed it. Fair enough. I understand. It's some weird high morality flicks he tried to pull and wanted to force other detractors to follow. I believe it was oh, to okay. show people how dedicated they were to being Golly. better than Dark Side Field. Golly gee! Well, I'll go ahead and tell you this right now. It doesn't take a lot to be better than Dark Side Field. And making money on YouTube doesn't put you in the same spotlight as DSP. Absolutely. That not. just wouldn't it's make sense. At all. At all, brother. The man scammed. No, absolutely not. Did you get banned, huh? And the fact that he held on so strongly to this belief and wanted to force other detractors to follow this rule just truly show how fucking seriously he took shitting on a middle aged uh, nigga that's bad now, at playing brother. video games. But little did Fred know that enforcing this stupid ass rule will come back to bite him in the ass and tarnish the legacy of the SOK. Uh oh, the lead. The first one fiasco began in July 2017. A user by the name of TXT had became a Twitch affiliate Ju and was able to create emotes for his channel. July 2017. So when he was, when they were doing all this freakery, I was having my daughter. <laughs> Dang. No, I had just had my daughter. Yeah, July 17. Yeah, and my daughter, my middle child, was born in March of 2017. So I was raising two kids while these freaks were freakering. You know, since he was known to dunk on DSP on Twitter, he figured using a picture Thank you, of his face off, would be a pretty I appreciate idea. it. He was well known in the SOK community, so it didn't take long for word to spread of this new emo. Another follower of Fred that went by the name King of Pole, who could really get his Pause. own video based on the shit he's done. Attack TXT on Twitter regarding the emo. Hey, they call me TXT. Nothing against you, and I'm glad you got affiliate. But do you need to monetize DSP's face? Just my opinion. What's well, gonna sub? Another Fred fuckboy that goes by the name of Fizz also publicly called him out on Twitter. The sons of Kojima raised profits for charity. Is that profiting off the detractor community? No. The money was raised for charity, and we had no interactions with the money. TXT is using Phil for his own personal gain. Keep in mind, though. Oh, my God. These people, son. Like, chill out, bro. Oh, I thought the cat was kicking around on him. The emo never went live. It was just an idea he was playing around with. So these no lies are just bitching over nothing. TXT got into contact with his homie Sir James D. Tick and the two of them piled up as much info as they could about Fred and his little cult members. TXT finally responded back to King of Paul on Twitter with this fire ass tweet, showing how much of a hypocrite he was being at the time. Hey, Lionheart. Dang. Shit like that, Dang. shit like that. Dang. How we doing, player? Welcome. Hey, Cookin' Johnson. Nothing against you. Glad you got affiliate. But do you need to profit off DSP drama? Just my opinion. Was gonna sub. This sparked a huge spurg out Loser. from Pole, and he further attacked TXT with these tweets. Except you fucking faggot Matthew, I do my podcast on all Sticks! 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 <laughs> Cigarettes and sticks! Lord cows. Saturday was Angry Joe, dickhead. Go ask the DSP fans to pay another ticket. Secondly, that person gave me his extra humble bundles after I told him that's okay in DMs. For humble bundles can ask him yourself matthew i have one stream of dsp therefore i'm a dsp money maker forgets all of my other poll show stuff 2013 from yo the poll show is nasty work John. nasty king sly nasty now fuck yourself boy oh boy that shit looks like something a certain gamer we know would do when faced with words he doesn't like and he shows that he's been blocked by King of Pole. This whole situation resulted in an apology from Pole and the long ass tweet longer that I'm not gonna bother to read. Sorry for this personal drama with they call me TXT. Humble bundles equals Steam game redeem codes. 
A humble bee. All right. I apologize if I came off wrong. I'm just Chris from the Brightside Viking event. Sorry, TXT. We cool? So, a legend by the name of Joe Rogue got involved in DM TXT on Twitter. I don't know he who showed that me is. the conversations him and Fred had regarding the whole drama about the DSP emote, showing Fred's true feeling on the matter. So Joro, TXT, and Sir James all planned out what to do with this information, and they decided that they were going to leak this conversation slowly, one day at a time so it could stay fresh in people's minds. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Nice rhymes, man. On August 3rd, 2017, Joro released I like that little one. the first leak to Kiwi Farms, and they were just having a field day with that shit. I'll go ahead and read one page of that conversation, just to give you an idea of Fred's behavior off camera. I noticed you blaming the SOK as a whole for the TXT drama. Look man, I don't like how you guys are causing so much drama with this one rule that not everyone agreed to. That's what's caused this whole situation in the first place. Then for Pascal and others to come in and shame TXT, when people like Tevin, Slow Beef, Review Tech USA, and others make money off of DSP. Dang, Tip. Review Tech was even getting brought up back then. You got Lodi. Jesus, he's been around for a minute. TXT has every right to do its own. I didn't know he was talking about Phil this long ago. I know he has made some videos about Phil from back in the day, but I didn't know. I never watched him because, like, the first time I ever heard RTU was when he debated Keem. That was the first time. Dang. So does anyone. Funny enough about st streamers making money. Nils, this whole thing is being taken way too seriously. When we Euphorics. Pause. Pause, brother. Pause, 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 pause. We are just laughing at a 35-year-old loser. Yeah, you can say, like, I disagree with what he's doing, and that's fine. But this rule came from you guys, and it caused a stigma with anyone Yo, who slow beef, Paul. God, Lord. Y'all just were ruthless back in the day. Y'all were heathens. Heathens. Has to make money off a of field, and there is no need for Oh, Rich and Keem definitely debated back in the day, y'all. Yeah. For that. What do you mean, you guys? Pascal is the only person from the SOK that say anything. I didn't say you guys. I said Pascal and others, as in random SOK fans or whoever. TXT is the one crying foul about the community and making a big deal quoting and everyone and crying. He made it about the SOK. There, right side was pop. there is no rule. Popular opinion is not a rule. People want to make this sound like TXT is fighting the establishment. It's just a handful of people who think he's a hypocrite and called him out. There's I knew it. Come here. I knew I heard you kicking around. Look at you trying to take my headphones. Ver Vizzles over here causing issues. Ver Vizzles over here catching issues. Come here. <laughs> Resume. <laughs> others that disagree. I like that. Everyone is part of Come the anti-DSP community. So if there are different opinions, how is it a rule? Let me also point out, Slow Beef created the Let's Play genre. He is not the same as someone who literally just tweeted about Phil for three years. Uh, no, Jay, I don't have, I don't have the membership thing going yet. Slow Beef made his own way. Phil is not even 1% of man. what he does. So, slowly but surely, the detractor community was turning against the SOK. While Fred was still in hiding and waiting for shit to blow over, King of Pole got into contact with Sir James. We are, um... Watching crazy people, Vervine. Crazy people. They are nuts. You got something to tell them? You want to tell them that I will say I'm cuter than Jasper. I'm cuter than Jasper. Tell them. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Calm it down there, kitty. Go up there. Yeah. Go hit them switches, cat. James. James convinced King of Pole to make a video telling people about how Fred egged him on to go after TXT for the emote and wanted to fly over to Vidar Viking to physically harm him and record it on his phone. Brightside Dylan was popping. For the people listening to this right now, I'm assuming you're going to be listening to... Oh, wait, what did it say? The following is a statement from uh, formerly King of Pole. Pause. Arm toast. Uh, as made freely to the company TXT and Sir James DTEC. For the people listening to this right now, I'm assuming you're going to be listening to what I have to say on my way of going out the door and what I mean. Yeah, you, you brought that trash cat up here? I'm out of here. By man. that. Um, 
took me a little hard time. I know. I'm never going to have to charge you to see Verb Vizzle. Whenever Verb Viz comes down here, it's, a, it's, a, it's we're going to get it rocking. I kind of come around with this and a lot of talking and discussing with friends and people and how I would do this, whether it be a twit longer, whether it be um, a video or not. And I just didn't feel comfortable with any of that, whether it was oh, public wow. or not. Black screen. Um, due to the fact that I still feel like I'm friends with these people even though I feel like I've been used by the people at the same time. Um, or at least one of them in particular. Uh, before we start, I do want to clarify that me and TXT are on good terms. Uh, we're not just neutral, we are on good terms. I have sincerely apologized to him multiple times, and we have talked on a few occasions and are now a part of a Skype group and discussing things along the way as... Int intelligent counterspell, it's all good player. ...information comes out. Sometimes we got to sleep, baby. And I do want to apologize to Kiwi Farms uh, and a couple of these other communities. Never thought I would hear those words. Who have kind of um, posted a lot of different information and things like that that uh, contradict a lot of the things that I was thinking. And it made me go back and look at my timeline of things and conversations that I was having as well as discussing things. Ideas for your content is great. People in the same uh, call. Like, he couldn't even have thrown a picture of Phil up there or done something. You just put a black screen. You thought this was the best representation of the video you wanted to watch was just a black screen. Gotcha. Was in same conversations to get their perspective of it to make sure that I wasn't misconstrued or confused as to what I was hearing or if it wasn't just my mind playing tricks on me. Fire song. Fire song. I sit alone in my um, phone. So let's go back. So you obviously know about me and TXT if you guys have been paying attention. It's very obvious what happened between me and TXT. I'm not going to get into details with that. What I'm going to get into details with is why I made that tweet. Um, uh, my thoughts are my own and my opinions are my own. And I Hey, thank you for the 10. Quantum TV here. Yeah, my wife has a new boyfriend and he came over and gave me three black guys to support my channel. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yo, like thank that. you, like dog. That. And the day that it was coming on, I posted a, a screen cap on a Discord channel. That's dedicated for the fans of the Sons of Kojima. Right, um, Jinx? And it had, was a screen cap of me trying to... In 2017, too. This is as much as you can give them. Just a blank screen. Subscribe to TXT on his new Twitch account that had an affiliate and seeing that it had Phil's face. I didn't feel comfortable uh, subscribing to it due to the fact that I did not want to see um, TXT go through any litigations or problems. With yeah, Karmic, everyone's getting the smoke. Like he should know. Everyone's got, Jay's got all the smoke for everyone. About it. At the same time, I was in a group conversation and a, and a voice call with a couple people from the SOK, particularly Fred Fox and a few other people not in the SOK. And uh, during the process of going through that information, he had suggested to me very adamantly that I should vocally let him know how I feel and make, um, make show him what why that's wrong because monetization is wrong and so forth. Now, me and Fred have toss back ideas back and forth on monetization and my thoughts and my man i've always no mercy talk to me nice player tomorrow tomorrow I always come to the conclusion that i feel like i'm defending myself when i'm talking to him due to the fact that he is very much against monetization of anything related to dsp and that's fine and i you know that's okay that's completely fine Whereas in I'm against monetization of anybody's face uh, in general, anybody's <laughs> brands, like using other people's brands. And as we all know, Darkside Phil's face is literally his brand, and he sells it on T-shirts and mugs. I did not feel comfortable giving a subscriber uh, a free subscription from Twitch Prime to T. Oh, my Lord. Yo, this guy is psychotic, bro. Now, it, it, this is a far cry from how it is now, right? Because now, like, we all support each other. Oh, you got this? Oh, we're going to send a chat here. We're going to send a dono here. Back then, they won't even support each other if there was any type of monetization around them. This is how psychotic they were about this. Like, oh, they, like they missed the whole thing about why people detract on them in the first place. It had no, like, the money part is such a small, minute factor of why. How he obtains his money is more important than just him making it. We all know... He just makes money. He makes money. He makes a lot of money. But the fact that he makes a lot and cries broke and begs for it is a big issue. Why everyone goes at him has nothing to do with him just making it. 
Nobody here really cares that he makes it or that any that he makes money. How do you get banned from the farms, bro? What did you post child pedophile nonsense? That's the only thing I could think. Like these people were crazy. TXT at the time due to the fact. Well, I couldn't support my uh, guy because there's a face of an emote on there, and if I give him a sub, I don't really feel uncomfortable. What? You act like he essayed you, son. <laughs> that I didn't feel like supporting Phil's brand, nor did I feel like he should show use Phil's brand to make money. He's better than that. In my His brand. Opinion. Just when you think oh, it could. You all made Phil feel like how he is now. Just brand talk. And he's a his successful business. Like, oh, God, you're the reason. Didn't get bad enough. Another member came through and released a huge amount of leaks regarding Fred and others conversations about detractors in the community. And for a bunch of fucking nerds, they sure had a lot to say about other people. Further leaks showed that Fred's initial plan was turning King of Pole against TXT in the hopes the two would end up taking each other out. <laughs> During the beginning of the whole emo fiasco, Fred wanted to get rid of both you and Pole. Basically, he thought you two would go after each other's throats and disappear because of the drama. On uh, September 6, 2016. Done. Like this was gonna be like a like a turf war, a fell turf 17. war. A former member named Renegade Operative made a video responding to all the leaks that were coming out about Fred and the SOK. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to find out more. A day later, Fred put out a tweet longer apologizing for his actions. Although many people. Pickups duty here, Robotus and Pickups Lyle. Shout out to Lady Mike. Saw right through the bullshit he was trying to pull. Let's get this nice and center. Freddy boy, and this is how you don't play. Damage control. Pussy boy, twit longer. Let's see what he says. <sighs> oh yeah, it's another meme, and it's in this twit longer. Another one of the memes. I apologize to everyone that may have been affected. Motherfucker, if you can go back and find this shit, and if you've seen these fucking these fucking chat leaks and shit, you can think about who you affected. Come on, I'm seeing if I'm holding out from reading it because I don't know if Tevin's gonna read it, so I don't have to read it, but it's. He's not getting to it. You can fucking name people you affected. You the crazy is still here. It's just super overshadowed by you, TBS Tevin. Uh, the crazy is just on another YouTube page. In. Wait, what? The crazy is just another YouTube page in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. A lot of the crazy resides on uh, Reddit. Them people are psychotic over there. We just showed one of them. <laughs> Filthy. You went through all of that time, and this is definitely towards fucking fred it went through all that time being autistic is fucking extra extra petty to spy on people talk about people behind their back look people information up try to find dirt on people but you can't yeah, name yo he really is yo he's just calm even when he's fired people up when you want to apologize are you kidding me okay these are the same people that made us like a fucking hour-long video on divas by the way i bet you divas is laughing right now if you don't know who Divas is, that's way, that's some deep ass law. That's like fuck three years ago. Gang. The things I've said and I've done and done in the past were disgusting, embarrassing, and inexcusable. Nah. I'm not gonna make excuses. Hold on. You know what we need? You know what we need? Go ahead, Tav. Or say that anyone else influenced me to do them. That's a sneak diss towards King Capole, because King Capole was saying that Fred influenced him to act like, to act like a complete. Complete jackass about the of uh, it all Viking situation, which made it snowball into being way more than it should have been. I take full responsibility for what I did and what went on in the group at that time. I realized in mid 2016 <laughs> that public drama was defining who I was in this community, and I wanted to stop fueling it from then on out on social media. We really gonna go back for this. This is some deep lore shit, and uh, the Kiwi forums talk about this too. Ard Nas. If you don't know who Ardenas is, Ardenas was a person. Okay, I'll just read it. The things I've said and done in the past were disgusting, embarrassing, and inexcusable. I'm not going to make excuses or say that anyone else influenced me to do them. I take full responsibility for what I did and what went on in the group at that time. I realized in the mid 2016 that public drama was defining who I was in this community. And I want to stop fueling it from then on all on social media. That is the reason why I wanted to ignore this like everyone else just to focus on things. However, 
Now people on I Like Your Respect have pleaded with me to make a statement. So here we are. How do you apologize for all of it? How do you explain all of it? When I look at the pictures, I feel ashamed. Not even just because they're public now, but because of the way I act. This stuff I had allowed myself to forget about and move on from it. I have now reflect on to all those disappointed with me, I understand. I'm sorry I let you down. I considered listing names of people to apologize to, but for the sake of not leaving anyone out, I'm sorry to everyone that has been affected by my actions and things I said and did not, did, were not okay. And you didn't deserve them. One thing positive I can say is that the things leaking out from two years ago are not what the group is today. That is, I, I can't read that word. Why? That is, I don't, why? Oh, why? Why? None of the leaks are recent and number of things have changed and the vibe is completely different. For anyone that is jumping off this crazy ride, I want to thank you and your support and your friendship. I have no hard feelings. I can only blame myself. Whenever things like this happen, I try to learn from This is so different. We'll see what happens from now on. I'm going to focus on my friends and family. Not Loser sign. You had to, we laughed at son for writing a letter of re resignation out of the game. This guy is writing one year predating the one leaving the chat game tracker. But this dude is writing this over drama. Oh my God. End your life, man. In Minecraft. Can we get an Emmy to... <laughs> Thank you. Crying emojis in the chat. Dog the Marco. Videos about DSP it would be clips from pre stream and shit. And very minimal editing. editing. Of course, the artistic Illuminati keeping tracks on you if you're getting reasonable views doing DSP videos. And if you're not a member of that, okay, obviously. Come on. So they, they keep some tracks on Ardnos. Ardnos has ads on the videos, apparently. Even if they did, they probably made like $4 or some shit a year. But I don't fucking know. But let's let's be okay. Let's just normal janks. Thank you for the five pounds. Reading time was sly. Hey bang, man, bang, bang. Say they had ass on the videos. If they didn't, they didn't. If they did, they did. The shit is so fucking old now. But the way they acted is insane. So they talked about it on the podcast. <laughs> Damn, man. And of course, everybody had the hive mind. Oh my god, that's despicable. Oh, they're just as bad as Phil. They prove Phil right. Blah 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 blah. Same old shit. So they start the narrative on that this Ardnas channel is terrible and they're using, they're using Phil for money and it's horrible. You don't want to like them. Now they don't say that, but if I make a video just like this, it's some people that, it's some people that just see something and that's the way they think. And I've been saying for a long ass time, you can go way back and see this. I said before, if you feel a certain way about me, you can feel that way. I'm not going to try to change your mind. If you think I'm a piece of shit, then I'm a piece of All shit right. to you. And this is the September, uh, September 7th. This is this fucking pussy ass twill longer that he waited <laughs> did a week to fucking upload. Let's go over the replies. Just like when I do a DSP video and I read the replies, good on you. I have some shitty things I'm embarrassed about too, but we can all own it and move on. You a moron, Theo. Sorry. Except that he's <laughs> not and still lying, saying it's not happening. It's not happening, but it is. I'm just taking it at face value. Do you take DSP stuff at face value? As far as I know, you upload whole videos specifically calling out specific DSP stuff. You obviously don't take that at face value. As a silent fan of apology and moving forward, lessons learned and leaving the rest in your past. Just to span the SOK. Great take, Highcraft. Great take. They should have just disbanded and let it go. This is the best. You can't please everyone. You can't please. Jesus, Tevin. God, Lord, you scared the life out of me. Please everyone. Reading Rainbow? Nah, reading Gangbow. I, my theme song for it is the DMX Reading Rainbow. If you haven't heard that, Go take a look. Shout out. Uh, rest in peace, the dog. <laughs> okay. So every time DSP apologizes, I'm going to fucking thank him and say he did a great job and he can move <laughs> on from it, right? If I do that, I'm a DSP fanboy. And it's terrible, a terrible thing to do that. Oh, I know. It's a terrible flame. thing to accept his apology. And this fucking cut uploads this bullshit blanket apology and it's cool. 
Oh, good job, Fred. Why well, we forgive you, bro? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Let me find some real dumb shit to do, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm sorry if you got mad. It's cool. We can just say we're sorry if you got mad. I would feel a way too. Tev's got a point because they were really going on. Pause. They were really going at the ball, man. They they were not playing. And it's cool. On the same day, another former member by the name of Che released a video about the Kojima leaks as well. And in that video, he showed us that the SOK planned out the copyright scratch. Oh, brass! I wish. See his channel done by B. Awesome Boy. Yes, the same B. Awesome One that gave us this legendary clip. You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy asshole. So it was part of the SOK's fault that oh Phil was able God. to gather Beyonce one's information. Beyonce one is a duff for letting them talk him into doing that. But oh again, God, here we go. So Kaz, do you have anything you would like to care to reveal about the Sanjay Kojima? Yeah, a few things actually. They know about the Beyonce one strikes as league shows. Most of them did actually. I'm sure. Some of them were against the idea of directly harming DSP's YouTube channel, BAO himself. I don't know that. Oh, be awesome one. Duh. Himself confirmed asking them about it and saying that it was okay to do it. And the departure of the two former members goes deeper than the simple. They moved on. There was more drama than meets the eye. Che? She? Maybe? I don't know. Had an argument with Fred about three or so hours before being unanimously, uh, ununanimously, uh, being voted out of the group. Uh, this, or his, Jesus Christ. His girlfriend left a few moments after and his uh, friends in the following days, weeks, months. Kamatasubu? Kamatadubu? Kamatasebu? I don't know. I don't speak this. Goes a little deeper. Pause. He wasn't used to, uh, used or anything like that, although he may seem like a really cool guy at first. He would snap on people, snapping people over the silliest stuff, going as far as threatening to kill a fellow <laughs> member. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that's <laughs> like, we joke about it, but God, Lord, like behind closed doors doing it. Come on, dog. Uh, silliest thing is going far as to kill a fellow member after they made fun of his skills as a writer. He also went in after two ladies in the group saying nasty things to one of them and not being overall creepy towards the other one. There's no point in hiding any of this anymore. So everyone might as well come forward and give the side That'd of the story. Awesome with Shay, uh, Shay is pronounced Shay. He's a Mexican. So it's like Leche. Oh, Che. Okay. Che, like, hey, but with the scene. Be awesome when it's a duff for letting them talk him into doing that fuck shit anyway. As much as we. The be, uh, be awesome one actually uh, say exactly which members knew about the copyright strikes beforehand? No, he only said he talked to the group and said, we it, all dislike and said it was okay. The main I didn't know Be Awesome One was part of them either. I didn't. I'm learning so much lore today. Lore game. If you wish soon to also write a twit longer that would help you flesh out some of your points and motivation. I really care about explaining to people in the community why my reasons. I mean, I did say I wouldn't hide anything if anyone asked me, so a twit longer doesn't seem necessary in my opinion. Also, you don't need to hide my name. It's about time this stuff was made public. I respect that. And there's one more thing. Another thing I would like to add. My decision to leave the group had the copyright strikes thing is the main factor. I was already unhappy with Moogle thing and knowing I was part of a group that who at the very least allowed a member to harm DSP's livelihood didn't make me feel comfortable okay the rule about this shit is to not get personally involved because when you do dumb shit like this could happen he's not oh, gonna by the us. way i have your ip i have your name and i have your address are you there you go tav there you go tav there you go tav now I want to get into a leak that I personally think is the worst. There was a female member in a group named Alice. Oh, this one, man. This one, man. This if you ever seen the secret limited. She wasn't very healthy. In fact, she was battling with cancer, but sadly, she didn't make it. She was a part of the podcast for a very long time. And the way Fred and some of his members talked about her is absolutely <laughs> sickening. This is when you reach the center of the vortex, yeah. Just like DSP. Fred doesn't have an understanding of what friendship is. He just wanted to use people. I just don't maybe Alice, Alice kind of pisses me off now. Oh, dude, oh, trust me, Alice pisses everyone off. Like I was once her friend, and now I'm not no longer her friend. Because all of a sudden, all all of a sudden, here's how it started. Because I had no quarrel with her, and then then all of a sudden, you know how? Remember the um, 
Dusty talking about bringing characters into um, uh, the so his SOK game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that I vo I voted against her, and she's like, "Oh, look at my friend Levy voting against me." Got really butter over nothing. Yeah. Mitch, get off the period. Hey, no, no, that's one of the reasons why Chaos hates her is because he he immediately. Like, saw that she was talking shit about me behind my back in the chat. Yeah, that's why I don't like her either. Hey, I mean, you can't get much worse than having a freaking co-worker from your work die. Oh, it couldn't get worse than your fucking parents actually tell you that you're the worst thing to ever happen to them. Oh, oh my god. Oh, shit. It can't oh. be worse than your best friend dying from uh, an Damn. overdose. Damn. Damn. Friends, here, here's here, here. Here's the thing about best friends. You can find new ones. I'm not trying to be a dick here, but you can find new ones. Sure. Of course. It's, sure, it it's, is, gonna, it's sure. hard. Wait, what? Wait, that's a Vigo. What are you talking about? No way. Sure, sure, it's gonna it's gonna be hard because you know that person for a for a long, long time. But in a sense of you're looking at people, they're This person talking right now is a Vega? Expendable. People nowadays are expendable. I heard some stories that Hold up. No way. It's going to be hard because you've known that person for a, for a long, long time. But in a sense of you're looking at people, they're expendable. People nowadays are expendable. I heard some stories that Fred... Tr that sounds like... <sighs> Dying from an uh, yeah. overdose. Damn. Damn Fred, here, 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 here's the thing about best friends. You can find new ones. This one talking. I'm not trying to be a dick here, but you can find new ones. Sure. Of course. It's, sure, it's, it's, it's just sure, hard. Sure, sure, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard because you've known that person for, for a long, long time. But in a sense of you're looking at people, they're expendable. People nowadays are time. We're talking about this person talking right now. No way. Hold on. Well, where's the Vega? I'm about to message that man right now. Yo, were you in the SOK? Get out of here, son. No way. Yo. But in a sense of you're looking at... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Chill. People, they're expendable. People nowadays are expendable. I heard some stories that Fred tried to dox her after finding out about her death because he thought she was lying in order to backstab him, which is insanely fucked up. He also doxed her parents as well for no reason whatsoever. Fred was always a paranoid fuck. He couldn't even trust his own members, like Moogle, who he thought was lying about moving because the door made a certain creaking sound. His internet issues are the same he had at his house. His mom came to visit him and brought his sister, but he didn't move. I'm like lost. <laughs> He's messaging me back right now. Oh, <laughs> he said nope. I knew people that were. Oh my God, dog. <laughs> we are reacting to the I find out all the answers game Part timer who only takes and gives nothing back that did sound like a vega i'm gonna be completely honest that 100 sounded like it it did but he's saying he wasn't he just knew about it. he just knew someone that was in him hey who cares to go after pascal he should have stayed and see himself and just became a hundred follower meme shit posted like he was supposed to yes i fucked up and made a massive mistake there will be repercussions, and I accept that completely. Like what? What can we do to you? Well, I don't know how this is going to be fixed. We just eat shit sandwich and move on like always. But now Lost. we're fucked on Kiwi. This is probably the worst hit to our reputation we've ever taken. And the worst position we've ever been in with those that can harm us. So yeah, I'm thrilled. He shows a DM message from Joro. Thanks, Pascal. Look, Fred, I already feel bad enough about this. Saying smug shit like thanks Pascal isn't gonna help anybody. I get it. I fucked up. It's not smug. I'm disgusted with you. You never do fucking anything but no. take from the group and give us bullshit. You have no idea how much you fucking fucked us, you moron. In the end, the leaks proved that Fred was nothing more than a paranoid loser who stalks and doxes other people for absolutely no reason at all. The fact that you can come out of this mess looking worse than DSP is mind boggling. Speaking of DSP, it didn't take long for him to catch word of the shit that was going down. He sent out a tweet longer to pretty much dance on the grave of the SOK.
My thoughts on the SOK situation. Oh, of course. Phil's got to throw his hat in the ring now. He won't cut. Oh, Aviga. Okay, here. You're here now. Let's play the, let's play the John so you can hear it. It's worse than having a freaking co-worker from your work die. Oh, it couldn't get worse than your fucking parents actually tell you that you're the worst thing that ever happened to them. Oh, it shit. It could oh. be worse than your best friend dying from uh, Damn. overdose. Damn. 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 Here's, here, here, here's the thing about best friends. You can find new ones. Not trying to be a dick here, but you can find new ones. Sure. Of course. It's, Sure, it's, it's, gonna, it's hard. Sure, 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 it's gonna it's gonna be hard because you've known that person for a for a long, long time. But in a sense of you're looking at people, they're expendable. People nowadays are expendable. Uh, that, that is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Aviga. <laughs> Person for a long son, what the what? What <laughs> what are you doing in this call, son? Oh, X said it, bro. X, oh, he's calling me. He's calling me. Yo, what is going? On? Oh, okay. Who else did you hear? Was it? Did it sound anyone from the SOK? I don't know what this is. I'm just watching the video, right? And 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 X was like, "Yo, that's a Vega." I'm like, "Wait, what?" I thought I'm looking in the chat, like, "Who? A Vega's not here." And she's like, "No, nah, this is a Vega in the chat talking." I'm like, "No way!" That I that oh, does sound like Vega. Okay, okay. You want a little fun fact about that? Because I heard all the other people of the call. It's like, wait a minute. That's not the SOK though. Oh, that that's not. No. Okay. Let me explain. There was a guy that used to be a part of the SOK named Ren. Yeah. He branched off to do his own thing. Yeah. I was a part of that one. Not oh. SOK. That's not SOK. And oh, was I thought... No, go ahead. Oh. No, no, no. I thought that was it. I thought that was all of them. That was just the big old group of the SOK talking in there. No. Some of them were a part of the SOK, but not everybody there. I recognize some of those voices too. One of them, I was like, "Wait a minute!" I was like, "Wait a fucking minute! That can't be me!" And I'm like, "Come!" And they're like, "Come in here! Come in here!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay." And I like, "Oh shit, that is me!" <laughs> From how long ago? I don't remember. I think it was like 2014, 2015. Yeah. What What was this about? Hold on. I'm gonna play. What was? Because I thought this was like going at the girl that like died. That's why I was oh, like, oh, I was I all think, confused. About okay, it. I think the whole thing about it, though, it's how Fred perceived the SOK. When it, you heard me say that they're expendable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We're, we're just going to watch it. You're here now. Let's you can give that. us the backstory. Just give us the backstory about this whole thing. Sickening. Yeah, please. Just do. like DSP, Fred doesn't have an understanding of what friendship is. He just wanted to use mm. people. I just maybe Alice, Alice kind of pisses me off now. Oh, no. All right, I know him. This is everyone off. Like, I was once her friend, and now I'm not no longer her friend. Yep, I think that was all me. of a sudden. All, all of a sudden, <laughs> here's how it started because I had no quarrel with her, and then, then all of a sudden, you know how? Remember the um? Yeah, Dust who's that her? Is, That's the Alice girl. That was Alice. Yeah, and yeah, I used to be friends with Alice, but then Alice kind of like stabbed people in the back. Jesus, man. But I had no, <laughs> but I had no problems with her though. But it was the fact that she was under the SOK's control. I'm going to say control. Okay. Th that's the reason why. But let's continue. Are you talking about bringing characters into um, uh, the SO his SOK game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that I, vo I voted against her, and she's like, oh, look at my friend Levy voting against me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I remember that shit. That's And that's Yo. not... And that's You've not been the around SOK. for a minute. I was around in the early days, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine life. Bitch, life. Off the period. Hey, no, no. That's one of the reasons why <laughs> Chaos hates her is because he one of my friends like saw that she was talking shit about me behind my back in the chat. Which is true. Yeah. That's why I don't like her either. Hey, I mean, you can't get much because worse than having a freaking co-worker from your work die. And that's Fred, right? That doesn't sound like Fred. 
Let's oh, go I back. That, go back again. Fred. No, go, go back that's, again. That's why I thought it was the SOK, okay. because I thought it was Fred talking. Yeah, that's why I don't like her either. Hey, I mean, you can't get much worse than having a freaking co-worker from your work die. No, that's not. Oh. That's not Fred. Fred. Yeah, have a good one. Fre like, Fred sounds like, he sounds like he's kind of like from the mafia. He kind of pretends yeah, like yeah. he sounds like Scarface, but he's not yeah, Scarface. That's Fred. Oh my god. This was oh, another dude. group. <laughs> this is this is we've crossed into a different realm, son. I've this I've, was I forgot about this shit. <laughs> this is wild, son. Yeah. It worse than Brad, have a good night, brother. Fucking parents you, actually tell you that you're the worst thing to ever happen to them. Oh it shit. It's gonna oh. be worse than your best friend dying from uh Damn. overdose. Damn. Yeah, Fred, here, 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 here's the thing about best friends you can find new ones not trying to be a dick here but you can find new ones sure of course. And, sure it's, it's, it's sure, hard sure sure it's gonna it's gonna be hard because you've known that person for a for a long long time but in a sense of you're looking at people they're expendable people nowadays are expendable <laughs> i heard some stories there <laughs> yeah so and what i said is true People yeah, that no, are considered no. best friends, they they become expendable. That's how Fred perceived them as a best friend, but he, they were always expendable. Yeah. Friends, best friends can be expendable, which yeah, sad. I was so edgy back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. No, not not. I mean, that wasn't too great. I, but the fact that so this is not even the SOK talking. This was just a mm. different group of it. This was someone who was a part. Of the part of it okay that, that broke apart from it got tired of it so he made his own thing with it and then that became worse and i left that too oh my god vega has been around the block and back twice oh uh, yeah the people saying i'm a double agent it's like this was not the sok talking oh man that, this is wild d i did not know you were like you were in the zone you were a part i i <laughs> She was ex was not letting it go. Yeah, everyone was like, "That's not her. That's not him." I'm like, "That can't be him." And like, no, sudden, he's saying it's not sudden, him. And then all of a sudden, no, because I didn't hear the video though. I was like, "Cause I didn't know." And you're like, "It can't be Levy." I was like, "Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a goddamn minute." <laughs> so I had to come back, come in. I was like, "Oh shit, that is me." <sighs> now that's me. My dog, EB, is out here in the actually, streets, man. Well, actually, no. Max Boss is like saying that I was a shadow XO SOK member. Actually, no. Fred hated me for no reason. Oh, he did. So you've talked to this guy? I've talked to him once. This guy's a psychopath, bro. He is. He's the type of guy that will pretend to be nice to you and then stab you in the back. He <laughs> hated me because apparently I was talking shit about everyone in his group. And then he just hates me. It's like, dude, I barely talked about you. And yet you hate me. <laughs> it's like yo Fred stop. man it's wild yo I didn't know this I thought when okay so when I was saying you came out of nowhere you didn't you've been around here you just returned I've been lurking for quite a while man wow and now people are asking what am I gonna expect another video I was trying to make one until I get fucking discord <laughs> messages <laughs> Well, get so, your, get, yeah, yeah, we brought you actually, back, let's, man. Let's let's see what let's see what goes on with that. See if my name doesn't pop up again. Uh, it was just that part. I nothing else. But this was like we were at the part like, where Phil's about to talk about it because I think they're about to disband around this time. Like, what? I mean, you could sit here and watch the rest. I don't care, but I don't want to cut into your video. No, no, I'm saying, what was the context for all that though? At the beginning of that, what was X trying to say about it? Um, about the girl. The, the Alice. Alice girl. Yeah, about how she died. And I think it was kind of like, y'all, um, yeah, but I'll I, just play. I'll play the beginning of it. Okay. Uh, no, I, fucking fuck uh, this, you moron. In okay, end, so I know why I said that, that, though. When I said the thing about parents didn't love it, because at that point, I think I was kind of irritated with it, though. Because mm -hmm. you do, we do live in a society where parents will not accept their children for. What's the best way to describe this? Coming out? That's what I was going with that. But that was what do you mean? You got like gay? Gay coming trans. out of the closet? Long, long time ago. That was one yeah. of those. And I think at that point I was like too irritated with them to even care. That's mm. why. And I think someone came into that call and recorded it and sent it to Fred, I think. Yeah. 
because they're assholes. <laughs> yeah, and that was the thing though. It's like Fred had spies. That's one of them. And that thing with him being like a uh, talk about Pepe Silvia, that was exactly Fred. Wow. Oh, Renak wants to know where were you on January sixth? <laughs> where was I? <laughs> he was in the, he was on the field. He was going after him. Actually, hang on. Where was it? No, I think I was working. <laughs> no, well, he wasn't out there. That's wild. Well, Laviga, geez, I mean, you're welcome to stay and watch the rest, but you can go back and walk, you watch your video. You you really jaw dropped. I did not know this. Welcome to the new age, and this is why I don't <laughs> like the SOK. Not because yeah. of that right there. Not because X Morris is talking about it, but I just did not like the group overall. Like you, <laughs> everyone knows my disdain for the SOK. Yeah, I, I I didn't know. I didn't. I had no, no clue. Like a lot of people don't like the SOK, but remember, son. remember when I said I was around in the very beginning? Yes, but I didn't think you were like this around. I thought you were just like watching around. Reb, so you would think about joining too? Oh Lord, everyone was. They were this big, huh? That's yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. Was that popular? If it's if you wanted to be a part of the anti DSP community, everybody knew the SOK. It was like the quote unquote club you had to be a part of. But what people didn't know is the bullshit that Fred led people on to believe. Yeah, which was <sighs> very bullshit. Like he used people, making them eat mashed potatoes. I did see that. Yeah, sir, sir strumming. Yeah, saw that one too. Yeah. Yeah, basically using people, Fred finding Doxing. the obituary. Fred finding the obituary. Yeah. Doxing yeah. people, fucking over people behind the back. He did that a lot. <sighs> and I another fun fact about it too is that I remembered that that group and the SOK were gonna have a meeting, but I was dealing with a lot of bullshit at that time and they wanted me a part of it. I could not go. I could not participate. Mm, and I told uh, I think I someone broke up with me at that time, and I was like in the bad state. But it was about a merger or something. It's like squash the beef because I was talking. We were talking shit about someone in their in their group. Yeah, it's, like, it's ugh. wow. Javier, yeah, you, you blowing my mind here, dog. Yeah, the yeah, SOK <laughs> is a channel awesome of filled detractors. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Channel awesome. So you, oh wow! So you were there with the B W. So you did you talk to this B awesome one dude before he destroyed him? Wait, before who destroyed him? Uh, B awesome one destroyed Phil's channel. I've talked to him before. Yeah. Yeah. How old okay. was I? If this was like back in 2015, let's see, 2015. Hmm. It's about almost 10 years ago. So that's eight years ago. Shit. I was like maybe early 20s, maybe about to be mid 20s. That's why, my, that's why my voice sounded different. And I'm like hearing my voice like, damn, I hate my old voice. <laughs> <laughs> yo, when you said, yo, it is me. Ah, the dog. Like, go, well, I, the gladiator, because I totally thought that that dude was Fred and this was a bunch of people bashing this girl after no. she died. Like, I know some of the people on there. One of them was Ren. Mm. People were saying Miss Moogle dude was a loser. Did you talk to him? I've I've talked to Moogle. Moogle's not a bad guy. Oh, okay. Moogle was like one of the only people in that group that actually broke apart from it. Mm -hmm. A tale of two detractors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God, yo, this was great, man. This was good. Yeah, Thank like, you I for clearing it up, bro. Yeah, that's what I was like, and I heard my voice like, shit, I need to tell Sly and everyone here because they're like, oh, he was part of the SOK. It's like, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, I had to ask. Once everyone lit up, they were like, that's him. I'm like, I know, that can't be him. But then I listened to back, we listened to like three times. I'm like, and then I had, and then I came in, and then I came in, and I listened to it. It's like, wait, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> the group, what was that group called? I think uh, it was called the T. It was like the Cooperative Podcast or whatever the fuck it was called. Oh. And, it, and then it changed names, and I don't even care about that group anymore. Yeah, because the person that created that group became someone like Fred. Essentially, 
had to get certain people to be interviewed to boost his ego, that he's running a business, that he's better than everyone else. I'm like, fuck that. Wow. What, what is going on over there? This there was a different time, different time, I guess. Different it was, time. It was bad, but now <laughs> the people that were a part of that group left because I was the first one to call it out. Mm-hmm. Was was I hired gun to take out the SOK for the inside? No. <laughs> hired no, the, gun. The only person that took care of the SOK from the inside was Fred himself. Yeah, Fred seems like he did. He did that himself. He didn't need no help. Mm-mm. Wow. Well, thank you for clearing this up, man. Like I said, if you, you're welcome to finish it out, but yeah, I let's finish this out. All right. My thoughts on the SOK situation and my only ones. So please stop asking me for more. Tons of people are now messaging me to say that SOK is being exposed for doing horrible things to me that they denied for years and the like via a series of leaks. Okay, I'm gonna speed it was this up because I don't like this voice. Of the shit was always them, as they are the only group who delve that deep into my personal shit. I would not be. I mean, and the reason are... we were even watching this was for the re- because Phil said that the SOK was way better than the people now. This was the only reason we were watching this. And since you were around, wait, it, he said the SOK were better than people now. Yeah, he said the SOK was better. Now it's mm. all yeah. Duty posted a video. We reacted to that too. That he was like the SOK was just about me, and now they just lie. And the SOK was a lot better. Mm, no, not even, <laughs> not even close. The whole thing was bad. When Phil broke up with Lena, Lena broke up with him. They made mm. that as an immediate emergency call everyone tune in phil got broken up by liana that was like hot news for them because fred was obsessed with it jesus the uh dark sea asked how many sok members are still active i'm not sure i'm really not sure most of them disbanded like if you're talking about active either making content of their own or not making phil content yeah maybe like one or two people that i know but other than that not sure Wow. Be surprised if they performed the vast majority of negative things against me, including the doxing, DDoS attacks, false copyright strikes, prank calls, pizza deliveries, signing up my emails to hundreds of spam email sites, signing up my physical mail to dozens of catalogs and magazines. I don't like Phil is saying this. He's listing off all these things that they've done. Doxing and all this, like none of us, that was already out by the time that we mm-hmm. we were talking about. So how is it, uh, we are worse than now than they are? Doxing, Ow. swattings, all this swatting. He has not been swatted since that first time it's happened. But then again, I said this as well. It's not a swatting. I don't believe Phil was ever swatted. I think they just called, like, did a knock on the door, wellness check because they heard a noise complaint. They want to see what the fuck was going on. I thought they came in. They did. They came to the house to investigate what was going on. Because if they hear noise coming from the house, they want to investigate what that is. Yeah. Oh, so and you it, don't think he was even, you don't think the cops showed up to his, or like the whole SWAT team showed up. You just think cops showed up. Just to. Because just if it to was check. A, because if it was a SWAT team, if it was swatted, that door would have been bursted down and he would be told, get on the fucking ground. Mm. They would have thrown his ass to the ground. Because what swatting does is that they think that there's a threat in the house. Go in there, take care of the threat. No matter how you do it, either shoot them dead or take them out tackling them. Yeah. Well, I think if you listen to it, you can hear them yell from like down the intercom or the 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 what's it called? The thing with the megaphone. Megaphone. Couldn't think of it. You can hear them. Ch- I don't. I don't remember. No. I haven't seen it in a while. No, I think what happened is that Leanna came and said that the police were there and it was just one cop car. Maybe they had like two others outside, but it was just two people coming inside to investigate. Mm. Want That's just sending me feces in the mail. Yes, all of that happened and even sweating me. And remember, Leanna's father also got sweated after the sweat against us didn't get any of the negative desired effect nor the real ability to make fun of us. That's the most fucked up thing about SOK and the like, the way they don't only try to ruin my life, but the lives of everyone around me as well. I wholeheartedly admit that money was one of many factors in the breakdown of my relationship with Leanna and what caused the money situation. Mm -hmm. Two things. One, my accumulating huge debt from a move across the USA, and two, my inability to pay off that debt because of false copyright strikes single-handedly destroying DSP Gaming as a profitable YouTube channel. 
Now that it's come out that they were directly involved with the false copyright strikes, I can 100% accurately say that SOK has, in many ways, destroyed my reputation, my capacity to keep making money on YouTube, but and my bad. personal life as well. Uh, uh, but, but we're worse! But they're better. They're better <laughs> than people like you, me, Chill, Duty, and everyone else that's the new guard. Way that worse than that. I have what I have not done any of this. I've never called you. I've never texted you. I've never uh, uh, posted your address online. I've never done any of this. I've been in con like talks when people are discussing, hey, let's do this, that, and the third. I never say a word. I just ignore it all. I, I'm not a part of any of this. I don't do any of the outside nonsense. If it's not here online, I leave you alone. Anything online is fair game. I'm going to bomb on you, whatever you say. But outside, never done any of this. Yeah, the personal never, life, leave it alone. Never done anything. I will now reveal something that I have never revealed before, and it's something the SOK have dwelled on for years and totally spun for their own purposes. This will blow your mind, the real reason that we did not attend Liana's brother's wedding. After Liana's father was swatted despite us never mentioning him in- Alright, this, he's throwing in extra sauce, cause we all know you didn't go so you can play your little game. Let's, let's stop yeah. with the cap now, let's, I don't know about this one, this, this might be cap. video nor giving out info regarding him, we knew nobody was safe. None of our family members would ever be immune from the hatred and vile actions that we were suffering, because the people doing them had no moral compass nor conscience. So when it came time to start making preparations to attend Liana's brother's wedding in late 2015, we talked directly with him and his wife-to-be about it. We came to the conclusion that, ultimately, if we attended there would be a strongly increased chance that someone would try to fuck with us and ruin the event. Which obviously we did not want to happen because it wasn't our event to get ruined. That would have been incredibly fucked up, having someone else's once in a lifetime event get ruined by a swatting or another kind of harmless prank that these fuckwads would try to pull. So after having serious discussions about it, we all collectively agreed to stay home and not attend the event. I stopped mentioning it. The event. Listen, you could have just went there and then came back. Just like you did with the wedding. Your wedding. When you got married. No one knew what happened. Nobody was. You talked about this and we're like, well, Fallout, what was it? Fallout 4, was it? It was Fallout 4 because Machinima F gave it to him. Yeah, Fallout 4 was coming out the same week and you complained about, oh, it had to fall on this week. I'm going to miss the coverage. Uh, uh, uh. Now all of a sudden, oh, I'm not going because uh, it was yes, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come no. on. You didn't, you wanted to play the game. Stop. You knew that was going to be big money and you wanted to stay and play the game. It all together like, and Leanna what? and her brother. <laughs> like what he just... could, what he could have done is said, hey, honey, I know that your brother's wedding. You can go and I'll stay behind because I have, I can't miss work. Like he could have right. said that. Right. Like let her go see her fucking family. But no, we can't, we can't go. Yeah, right. Like anybody would have known that she was gone. It's not like she's on stream with them all day long with them standing right next to the side while he plays the game. Ain't no one going to know. You guys talked about it. You probably convinced her, yeah, if we go, they're probably going to do this. This is all speculative. This is just me. Uh, uh, they might do this to us, this, that, and you brought this up to them. Come on, bro. Like, if you if it was really all about this, you would have just stayed quiet. If you really wanted to go, and I really wanted to go, and I didn't want to ruin it, you wouldn't have said a word. No one's going to know. If you just kept your mouth shut. They were both very sad but knew it was for the best. What did the SOK do? Well, first, they decided to find out the address and date of the wedding. Yes, that is entirely true. They're so fucking sick that they, on their own and without my mentioning it for months, researched and found the event, and then spread that info all over the internet. They then decided to spin it that the reason we weren't attending was because I had forced Liana to skip IT so that I could stay home and play Fallout 4. Oh, here we go. To make money. They actually accused me of keeping her at home forcefully. It couldn't have been further from the truth. It was the crippling fear that the SOK themselves, who found the damn date and address of the wedding, would have swatted the wedding. But they didn't do anything. So, they had the address, they had all the information, and they didn't do anything. <laughs> that made us stay home. Right. So not only were they the reason we missed the wedding, they then turned their own vile actions into a way to make me look bad after the fact. It's mind-numbing, isn't it? The best part? Oh god, there's a part two. I don't even know any of them, nor do I even know who the hell they are outside of the fact that they all want to hurt me. It's absolute insanity. That's how that group is. Just like anyone is who is hyper-focused on hurting one person you don't even know. It's stereotypical stalker behavior and when it happens to celebrities, they get restraining orders. Sadly, I never had a defense against this kind of stuff, because I wasn't big enough, smart enough, or rich enough to find a way to put protection <laughs> in place and slash or just be immune to it. This is a textbook case of a bunch of sick-headed, mentally ill, yes, if you try to ruin someone's life who you don't know, you are mentally ill, individuals trying to destroy someone they've never met and have zero personal relationship with. It's disgusting and disturbing. 
There's a line between laughing at someone's shortcomings, and trying to destroy their life and the lives of their family. And it's not a fine line. For those who are finally seeing the light, they need to look back over the last several years, all the shit they did to me since I moved to Washington, and seriously see if they can live with themselves. I feel bad even when I inadvertently hurt someone, but these people deliberately tried to destroy me for literally nothing. No logical reason. That's wrong on so many levels. Anyway, outside of the fact that it's been exposed that the SOK were directly involved with the false copyright strikes against DSP Gaming and more, I'm not reading up on any of the drama shit, and I honestly don't care. My life is already destroyed in a lot of ways, both financially <laughs> and personally, and I'll probably never recover from the financial situation I'm in, that they created. Therefore, why dwell on it? I've got a good thing going with Twitch and I'm going to focus on the positives instead of the crazy amount of negatives I've suffered at their hands. So please, don't keep contacting me with juicy new info as I don't care. Just let me do my daily thing and be who I've always been since day one, and let's keep stuff positive moving forward. Everything else is just white noise that- Keys, he's been using the same verbiage for years. Yeah, oh, white, wow. white, no white noise, not caring about the drama, not dwelling on the drama. Right, that moving, po moving forward positively, yeah, yeah. Even though he hasn't. Fuck the official <laughs> end of this, okay? Loophole 572 made one final podcast and was yep, joined by other detractors one. and former members of the SOK to address Fred and all of the bullshit that went down in the past few days. The link to that will be in the description. And so entered the legacy. Wow, the son. Yeah, I actually do remember that podcast too. It was like the, one of my favorite SOK fucking podcast episodes because it was exposing Fred for what he was. Mm -hmm. Scumbag. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, is that the one when he was talking about his girl, the girl Alice? Yeah, this is when uh, okay. they, it was Loophole who was like his second in command, essentially. It was Che, who actually was in a relationship with Alice, that went off on Fred. Which honestly, I felt bad for the guy, even though the guy wanted to like kick my ass for no reason. <laughs> and then they had Ren, who was a part of it, and they had Moogle a part of it. I forgot who else they had on it, but it was like four or five people. Wow. Basically saying, fuck off, Fred. Don't come back. Gang, we just got some lore. Yo, my boss, so what's that?